Hi guys, it's Adrienne, and this is my little synopsis on using the pedagogical flow map to develop a lesson for K or one with um, a focus on social and emotional learning. So I focused on um, kindergarten. I worked with kindergarten to develop a lesson and I chose the good egg really because um, it had such a very definite beginning, middle, and end, and that is what kindergarten was working on at the time. They were working on making predictions and retelling. Um, and I knew that this story also had a lovely focus on self-care and problem solving and empathy. Um, so I knew it would reach both goals at the same time. Um, this flow map was helpful when developing the lesson because it really made me stop and think about the structures I could put into place, the scaffolds, the times that I would stop during the lesson to make sure that all students were really both developing the skill, but also um, developing in critical thinking um, and um, creativity. And really with this lesson in evaluating um, solutions. So we started by um, reading the story, uh, thinking about sequencing the story. Um, we stop at a point and then we give them an opportunity to uh, brainstorm solutions. So I wanted students to come up with as many as they could, uh, at least two. They drew their solutions and talked about their potential solutions and why they were good solutions. And then we came back to the carpet uh, Pre-COVID, obviously, we came back to the carpet and we evaluated our solutions by discussing criteria for good solutions, sharing solutions, discussing why they would meet those criteria, etc. And then we finished the story so that they could see what the solution was in the story. Um, this lesson turned out to be great for this because they really developed in that critical thinking and by evaluating solutions and looking at the little pieces that made a good solution, um, they had some great discussions um, about what would be a good solution, what would be a better solution um, in terms of the, the social and emotional um, self-care and empathy and all that as well. So those conversations naturally came out. Um, after this, I've also looked at how to make this digital for our teachers and students with things like Google Draw for sequencing. Um, along with Seesaw, uh, Seesaw has been great because I can put the story in here along with the template being the organizer that we use for students to share their thinking.